Hi, welcome to my channel, Craft You Come Lately. I'm going to share with you a very simple Halloween card um, that I've made. It's a simple layout, and um, it's just basic technique of embossing powder on and repeat the pattern because it happens to be a shorter stamp. So I just doubled up the image, and this stamp came from this very sweet Dorothy who just did a random giveaway a while back and so I'm very excited to um, use this stamp and um, still very grateful for the gift but um, of course it could be if you didn't want to do Halloween you could do you know leaves or any other theme relating to fall or anything else coming up and the same idea and I wind up using craft cardstock base and craft here so and it should have probably gone all the way to the edge the other ones will um, and I did use a couple of different uh, color powders. This is a white one, just played. Uh, this one is a kind of a reddish orange, and that's part of the Lindy Stem Gang embossing powder collection. It's the Autumn, I think, yeah, Autumn set is what it's called. And it has some greens and some um, bronze and gold. Today I'm going to use the gold one. So, um, actually, that's the dollar store going to use this one today and I already ran it through as a sample because I didn't want to do the coloring on a, on a hot one so I'll demonstrate the process but of course I have things ready so it can be like as seen on TV but I did use this red one on this which I love and this one I left blank I didn't color but this one I colored in was just simple color I think this one I actually used the distress ink mini um, stamper this guy right here the orange one in the mini pad but I've also done it with the dollar store actually it's the Daiso um, the dollar fifty watercolor tubes but I have used watercolor I've also used the distress inks um, you can use anything to color regular watercolor Tim Holtz if you have uh, the distress markers, whatever you have that makes kind of a watercolor filling. This is another one that I filled in. So that was a more orangey filling. And this, actually this is even more orange compared to that. That was a little bit more red. If you can kind of see it side by side. So, and then you can do whatever you want for the background. This is actually a glossy photograph paper that I um, inked. Um, the copy image of a what you call it a stencil so that could be a background uh, this is just some sequins from Cartwright sequins and some cats and some orange so that's pretty simple but I'm just going to do the embossing although I'm sure most of you know how to do this and um, I'll use the gold like I said and the measurements, I just did an inch and a quarter wide, and then I used the same width for um, this, which should be five and a quarter. So that's all I did for the strip. Simple Versamark ink, and I'm going to stamp my image. You can see there's a little bit of orange there, but that's okay. And I'll ink it once. And sorry, it's off the camera, but I'll show you guys in a second. So that's one image. Take that off. And you can see where it's inked. And then I'll ink it right to the right of it. I'll do the second portion and show you as soon as I have it all stamped. So that's the second part and fit it all in that strip. Now we'll do the powder and I am using uh, the Lindy Stamp Gang and it's called Cleopatra's Copper. It's really beautiful. So that is the color I'm using. And just to show you guys since it's off camera and then this is how it comes out. And this powder, I did try to um, use both like a dryer sheet and have this little powder form from a perfume gift. But this is has a lot of little 
um, sequins in it so it doesn't do a perfection and I sometimes do try to clean out the excess but it's not perfection as far as that goes and which kind of gives it a different look it gives it a lot of sequins so I don't actually mind it too too much I'm gonna heat this and get that going And this is super thin paper, so it should be pretty quick. Try not to burn myself. <laughs> so I like to do it from the back so I can kind of get it going. And there it is, it changes. without burning myself okay so that's the idea and since I already have one cooled and ready to go I will color this one but hopefully you can see and yeah there's excess there but it'll come it'll kind of come off not all of it the excess glitter it's very glittery and then I'm gonna use my watercolor from Daiso, but you, like I said, you can use distressing, gelatos, uh, liquid watercolor, distress marker, anything you have to color it in. And I'm using that and some water for my sprayer and paintbrush to mix it. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm just going to color it in. So this is the one. This is the one that's cool. So I'm just going to color it inside, inside the line, kind of. Rough about. And anything excess I can probably polish off. If not, it'll be a very cute look. So. I'm not going to stress it too, too much. And that's it. And then I'm going to let that dry. And then layer my base right here. And that will be that. And then sequins or whatever else you want to put on the background. And that is pretty much the card. So hope you enjoyed this little sim simple technique. And hope you get your Halloween cards going if you do make them or enjoy celebrating. If not, maybe your fall or even your Christmas cards um, in the simple embossing and watercolor technique. So thank you so much for watching and um, I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.